Yo guys, this is your artist Tolgard and today I will show you how to draw the new form of Piccolo from the new Dragon Ball Super movie Super Hero. This right here is the official drawing of the master Akira Toriyama which I got from the Instagram account Akira Toriyama. As we can see Piccolo in his new form is getting huge and he is changing colors. His face also changed a little and overall he has a comic like look in my opinion. And yes, today we will draw him. Therefore we will need an A4 size paper, a pencil and an eraser. The links to the exact same materials I am using you can find in the info box below. I also did a tutorial for the new form of Gohan already so make sure to check that one as well if you missed it. First we need a 3cm guideline for the face of Piccolo and we also have the paper to get a vertical line as well. We will draw Piccolo from the front and we will start with the eyebrows and in this case with the forehead. We are using the length of the guideline to draw the forehead. Then we will draw the edgy eyes with thick outlines and we are also using the guideline to place the eyes correctly. On the center of each eye we are placing the iris and then we can continue with the nose and the mouth. Therefore we are using the vertical line to place the nose and the mouth in the correct position. Piccolo will have a grimly face and around the mouth he has huge wrinkles. In this form Piccolo has a very thick jaw and chin which in my opinion makes him look like the Hulk or Frankenstein. Perfect. Then we can draw the round head. I know it can be quite difficult to draw something perfectly round. Therefore we can start drawing the head very very lightly until the shape of the head is perfectly round and then you can use the pencil a bit heavier. Then we can draw the long and pointed ears of Piccolo. Looks great. Now we can draw the sensors which are pointed up to finish up the head. I still haven't seen the movie yet so I don't know if the sensors of Piccolo are always pointing up in his new form. But as Akira Toriyama himself drew it that way, I will do it too. Looks amazing guys. Now we will draw the upper body but first the very light sketch. In the new form Piccolo is getting taller and much more muscular. We will draw the muscles big and round and will give Piccolo very wide shoulders. The chest and neck will be very pumped and overall the muscles will be huge as I said. The outfit of Piccolo is still the same one as usual with a very big cutout which goes down to the apes. Okay, now we are zooming out and we are drawing the belt which is wrapped around the waist as usual. The arms will be very big and I don't know how to call these things on the shoulders, biceps and forearms but Piccolo still has it. What disappears in his new form are the lines on his arms. And to make sure that the arms are on the same level and have the same size, you can use a ruler and use some guidelines if you need to.
the hands will be shaped into a fist and the thumb is facing to us. As you can see, I'm drawing the shape of the fist first and then adding the details to it. Before we continue with the other arm, we are drawing the pants, which are wide and loose as usual. We will add lots of wrinkles to the pants to make it look like that. Now we can draw the other arm the same way as before. What do you think of the new form of Piccolo guys? I find it very good that in the new movie Gohan and Piccolo are getting the most attention as these characters have so much potential but we are always like just some side characters in each movie and also later on in a series, especially on Dragon Ball Super. Now we are finishing off the pants and then the sketch is done. There we have it guys, this is how you sketch a new form of Piccolo from the new movie. Now take a little break and then we can start inking. So for the inking we are using high quality pens which won't smear. As you know I'm using the pens from Copic with the 0.03 and 0.05mm sizes. And to ink as accurate as possible there is only one way to do it. You have to work very slow and controlled. Do every line one after the other and after every line lift the pen up so you don't rush the process. Inking takes time especially when you do it right. And after we did the erasing, we will improve the line art. Usually I go very detailed when I do this, but as this is a tutorial, I will keep the second layer of ink kinda simple. I will go over all the lines a second time and will make the lines thicker. This will make the line art pop out and also gives your drawing the special touch. I am also adding some highlights to the line art when I do the second layer of ink. This is also like a double check on the inking. I realized very early that when I do just one layer of ink, I am never happy with the results. This way I can improve the inking and also make it more special. I am also the type of artist who loves to work detailed. I know that inking like this takes even longer and you have to be more patient. But it's definitely worth it and as you can see by now that the line art really is popping out.
So guys, line art done and I think it looks amazing. Piccolo looks badass and he is ready to get colored. For the coloring I will use ARTX markers only today. These markers are amazing, I'm using them for around a year now. The design is nothing special to be honest. These markers also got a broad and a brush tip as usual. Also, refills for these markers are not available as far as I know. But these colors are very vibrant and powerful and you get a huge color selection. And the price is also outstanding. You can get 90 markers for around $60. It's a very good price and you can decide for yourself if it's worth trying these. We will start with the suit of Piccolo. We are using the marker with the code 85 and covering the left part of the suit as the light is shining from the left. As I said before, the colors of Piccolo has changed in his new form. The suit has gone violet and the skin turned like yellow orange. What do you think of that? Let me know below guys. I kinda like it. Then we are using 8-1 and adding the shades along with the wrinkles and the edges of the suit. We are placing the shades more on the right side as the light is shining from the left. Then we do some blending and after that I'm using CG9 to add some darker shades also along with the wrinkles and the edges of this suit. Looks great. Then we will move on to the belt and therefore we are using GG5 as the base and CG9 for the shades. We are coloring with the same direction of the belt. And to add some darker shades to the right side of the belt, I'm using a black marker. Perfect guys, now we will color the pants using 8.5 again and covering the left side of each leg very evenly and patiently. Perfect. Now we are using 8-1 and adding big shades on the right side of each leg and we are also using the wrinkles of the pants to place the shades. I am doing many layers until these areas are covered perfectly even.
great. Now I'm using CG9 again and adding dark shades on the edges of the pants. Usually I would be finished with this part, but I'm not that happy with the coloring right here. Maybe these markers are not made for coloring big areas like this very evenly. Therefore I'm using colored pencils to cover the suit and to make it look as perfect as possible. I like to color my art this way because it makes it look like digital. And you will see at the end that covering everything with color pencils will make a huge difference. As for the color pencils, you can choose any brand you want. Just make sure that the colors are matching. Alright, now it's perfectly even and it looks amazing. And now we will continue with Piccolo himself. We will start with the lines around the things on his arms. Therefore we are using 16 and 13. We are also adding some darker shades with the number 2. As for the shoulder, bicep and forearm things, we are using 25 as a base color and 332 for the shading. And we are using 104 for the darker and deeper shades. In Piccolo's base form, these things were pink and changed to bright yellow in his new form. The arms turned into orange and therefore we are using 36 for the brighter parts and 24 as the main color tone. For the shades we are using 21. The 
hands and the normal skin itself are yellowish and therefore we are using 4.9 as a base and 3.7 for the shades. And for the deeper shades we are using 44. Lots of different color tones and to make it easier for you to follow, all the color numbers are seen on the screen as usual. Same process for the other arm guys. The only difference here is that this arm will have much more darker shades as it's wider away from the light. Therefore we are using the darker color tones way more than the brighter ones. Alright, now to the upper part. Coloring the abs with the same colors before we move on to the chest and neck area. Now we are using 4.9 to cover this whole part and then using 3.7 to add big shades on the chest and neck. As you can see I always use the wrinkles, muscles and definition to place the shades which makes it very easy for me to know where to place them. Shading like this is also very natural and will always look good. Now for the deeper shades we are using 4.4. And to add even deeper shades to certain areas like the neck, we are using 21. Very good. Now I am adding some grey shades to the eyes and then coloring the iris of piccolo red. For the skin we are using the same colors as before and again we will add the shades to the right side of the head and we are also using the face features to place the shades. So guys, last touch and then we are done. And this is how you draw Piccolo's new form from the new Dragon Ball Super movie Super Hero. I hope I choose the right color tones for the skin, but these were the best matching color tones I could find. How do you like it guys? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like the video and comment below for which character you want to see a tutorial next. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so we can reach 400,000 subscribers as soon as possible. That would be amazing guys. The links to the materials I'm using are in the info box below and also the links to all the other stuff you can find right there. That's it guys. Thank you all for watching and I see you on the next video. Thank you.